Hey, what's going on guys? So today we're gonna to be taking a look at the new free assembly by Walmart Selvage denim jeans. We're gonna be doing a full review on this and uh, just kind of diving deep into what these jeans are and if they're really worth the price tag. And you might be surprised on how much they cost. My name is Chris and on this channel, I like to talk about men's clothing, fashion, and grooming products and do reviews just like this. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And without further ado, let's get to the meat and potatoes. So free assembly is Walmart's new clothing line that's pretty much focused on being more socially responsible, environmentally friendly, and just a step above the Walmart clothing that we're used to. Now, for example, these particular jeans are actually made with organic cotton, and that's just cotton grown without using pesticides or anything like that. They're also fair trade certified, just meaning that the person that made these jeans were paid a fair wage and worked in sustainable and good working conditions. And they even actually went a step further to say that their factories that these are made in are lead friendly or lead certified just meaning that they lead in environmentally and eco-friendly factory so these jeans are actually selvage denim jeans now you may be wondering what's selvage denim now the word itself selvage comes from the phrase self edge which just means the woven ends of jean or denim fabric now this fabric is normally made with a shuttle loom instead of a projectile loom golly it's so hard to get that off and a loom is just the machine that weaves the denim and the the shuttle loom instead of the projectile loom is what makes the self edge in the selvage denim and that edge actually helps prevent the denim from becoming unraveled or frayed over time now now you're probably like okay so selvage who cares you know <laughs> so overall selvage denim is known to be heavier uh more durable and just more reliable than traditional jeans but selvage is just kind of one of those things like if you know you know and one of the easiest ways to tell if it's selvage denim is the cool stitching on the inside a lot of people if they have selvage denim jeans they'll flip or cuff them inside out just so you can see that cool little stitching pattern on them so now that you know what selvage denim is let me tell you something very interesting interesting so currently levi's selvage collection starts starts at 158 dollars and that actually goes all the way up to 258 dollars now what's super interesting like i was saying these jeans are actually only 40 dollars compared to levi's 160 50 200 selvage denim jeans these jeans are 40 dollar selvage raw denim jeans now you're like chris what 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 means what's the raw part what does that mean let me tell you pretty much whenever you buy a pair of jeans you know how they say the wash and people usually just think the wash is the color but it's actually the fading in the jeans and so most of the time your jeans come with a wash to them so there's like dark indigo you know light washes dark washes medium wash washes right these are raw meaning they're not washed and the cool thing about raw denim is over time the way you wear them will actually start to show in the jeans that's where the wash and the the fading will come and it's super cool because over time you're making a personal signature pair of jeans that aren't going to be like anyone else's there will always be little differences in them now before i give you all my theory on what i think is going on let me talk more about the jeans i got mine in a slim fit 30 30 and that was the right choice because these things still fit exactly like i was expecting or exactly like i would expect uh 32s to fit there's still stacks in the bottom of my jeans which is what i like personally i like some ruffles and a little bit of looseness there but um they're not super they're not you know too long to wear like my pants are dragging or something like that uh they actually somehow offer two-day shipping too which i guess walmart's really going after that um and they did they got here in two days i actually got this vest with it and i got what else did i get i got some shirts as well and it all got here on time and i was like damn all right walmart i see you they pretty much came packaged just like anything off of amazon would just in a little slip plastic slip and then in a unnecessarily large box now something odd i noticed um, when i was purchasing these is that they don't have any odd sizes like there aren't any 31 33 35s or anything not that 35 is a super common thing but even on the length there aren't any odd numbers which i thought was really strange so currently these only come in two colors which are the black that i got and what they call a rinse 3d which is basically a dark indigo which is a color that you people usually wear more as a dressy type denim which perfect for right now too because it's fall you know you want to dress up a little bit do your thing like go ahead you know go ahead get your get your rinse 3d on i'm guessing if the line does good enough on this first launch then we will see something of an expansion later on but for now that's what we got now these do hug your hips fairly nicely i don't feel like i have to suck it in or anything like that they actually like i said are slim fit and they are 
straight at the top and then right around the knees they start to taper in which I, that's perfect for me because skinnies usually are too tight on my thighs so slim fit it is for me if you're wondering i'm 5'9 probably 5'10 with some boots or something like that on between 155 to 160 pounds so i'm not a big guy at all and so far i really like how these look with boots on and that's probably what i'll wear most of the time is these with boots um especially that winter's coming up and like i said these are selvage denim so they have a little bit more weight and thickness to them which is perfect for those windy days so you, you won't actually feel the breeze or anything going through your legs okay so let's jump into these materials right now the website says that they're 98% cotton and 2% elastane elastane being just pretty much a stretchiness in there just like polyester is what makes your jeans stretchy but the tag on the jeans says that it's 70% cotton 28% polyester and 2% elastane so that's kind of weird right that that's a weird thing and i'm kind of inclined to believe the latter just because of how the jeans feel and the amount of stretchiness in them i'm more inclined to think that it's more polyester in there than it is elastane or cotton should i say especially with such a heavy denim i would think that these will be a little less versatile than they actually are which just brings me to the point that these things stretch, they stretch. You got plenty of mobility in these. So if you did wanna use these as like work jeans or something, it wouldn't be a bad idea, honestly. Back to that thing I was talking about, my, my theory, right? These are made in Pakistan. Now there's another jean company that makes a lot of their jeans, like 90% of their jeans in Pakistan, and that's Levi's. Now we know that Walmart has already had a long lasting relationship with Levi's under their Strauss brand, which is the little Walmart Levi brand. Pretty much it's their collaboration and it's the jeans that they sell in Walmart under. Now the price that they have, which is still quite insane. I don't know how they got these jeans that cheap. Um, where they're made in the collaboration just kind of makes it seem like these are pretty much Levi's just not with Levi branding on them and there's also a chance that they could be made in the same no 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 there's no way right i mean mm, i mean no 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 <laughs> no but seriously look into it there might be a chance right there there might be a chance i'm not saying that's for sure i'm just saying there might be a chance okay and really quick let's just jump into some of the details of the jeans which i i really appreciate the details of a jean your main button on the jeans actually say free assembly around them which is really cool uh, you would think with something like this and it being walmart major manufacturer it'd just be like some plain button but it says free assembly around it and actually every single button on these jeans say free assembly on them which again a nice attention to detail but this actually goes a little bit deeper than that stamped on the inside of every button is actually the words or phrase be you i thought it was a mishap at first when i first saw it i thought it was like just a scratch or a scuff on it i was like oh man here we go but sure enough it's purposely done on every single button it says be you and when i noticed that my mind was blown i was like no 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 way they did that but yeah okay i see you free assembly walmart like i see you and again i love small details like that i will pay more for small details like that i don't care now i know you're like chris this is too good to be true yes it is sure damn is because there's the one thing when you look at the stitching you start looking around there is some fraying going on in some places now it's not on the selvage part what i was saying before it's just in a different spot and the stitching looks a little bit to put it nicely below average and it's just really like on the belt loops um you know little pieces on the inside and stuff like that on the inside of some of the pockets not the actual um jeans itself just more the attachments of the jeans should i say now these jeans don't really feature any designs or anything like that to them they're pretty straightforward uh the back pockets do feature this very simple one line stitch across them which i think gives it a super clean look it's really nice honestly in the front of the jeans right below the pockets actually have slight wrinkles to them and i'm not sure if i did that or they came like that but either way they look cool and now i just kind of look down on them and the wrinkles aren't really there as much anymore so i think i did that but would i buy these again man hell yeah i'm buy these again actually i'm probably gonna go buy those rinse 3ds because i like these jeans so far especially just for forty dollars you cannot beat it i thought it was gonna be something hugely wrong with them or something was gonna happen as soon as they got there 
so far so good and now again this is my opinion and some experiences and things might differ for y'all like y'all might actually get them in it might look like a dog chewed up your jeans or something i don't know i'm just letting you know that this is my opinion and this has been my experience with these jeans so far and that's gonna be it for this one guys um again if you enjoyed this video i create much more videos just like this and i also do like fashion updates and just let y'all kind of know about what drops and everything like that as well and as always my name is chris and i will see y'all in the next one